Hello everyone! Just in case you've ever been wondering what it's like to be shopping across the pond in the United States, today I will give you the answers. I will be comparing a supermarket here in Spain and Europe with a supermarket in the US. I have been thinking about doing a trip to the United States for a very long time now and I know quite a few US Americans here in Barcelona that always rave about how cheap everything is here. So it kept me wondering whether this is actually true and how expensive are the United States really? So I asked a friend of mine in Miami to film a few things for me over there in the supermarket so that I will be able to compare some prices for you. Let's grab the shopping list and get started! By the way, to make this video as good as possible, I decided to choose the same supermarket chain to compare the prices in the best possible way. So I am currently at Aldi, which by the way is a German supermarket chain and it is known for low prices. So I also decided to go for the budget version here in this case. Let's start to find the things that I personally always need for my breakfast. We are starting with something that most people need immediately after waking up, which is the coffee. In this case, it's instant coffee. We have 200 grams. And in the US, the same coffee has a price of 6 euros and 14 cents. While here in Europe, this one has a price of 6 euro 65, meaning coffee is actually more expensive here in Europe. A good start to show that not everything in the US is more expensive, I guess. And the next thing on our list is oats and we have some oats here 500 grams and they cost us 85 cents in the u.s i found a package of one kilo in total and it was at a price of three euros 63 obviously it also had double the amount but in general double the amount here would cost around one euro 60 meaning in the u.s oats are extremely expensive for a basic product such as oats you pay a lot of money there and the next product on my list is milk. We have whole milk here and that one here in Spain has a price of 1 euro and 19 cents. In the US they always sell those milks in huge packages in gallons and one gallon in the US would cost around 2 euros 90. Now if we would calculate this one liter here of milk into one gallon, here in Europe we would be paying 3 euros and 50 for one gallon of milk, which is obviously much more expensive than in the US. I remember that here in Europe farmers are always complaining about that they cannot really earn money with milk. Actually my uncle is a farmer producing milk so I know that trouble and well I wonder how the hell do they earn money in the US. And of course we also have some cornflakes on the list and these cornflakes here would cost 1 euro 45 for 500 grams. The same amount in the US has a value of 2 euros and 1 cent. So again cornflakes, something very basic, is more expensive in the US than in Spain. Let's talk about chocolate. I personally love to mix chocolate in my porridge in the morning and this one is 85% cacao and it is from a brand that also exists in the United States. So we are comparing the same brand, the same amount of grams and this one here in Spain has a value of 2 euros 49 cents per 125 grams. In the US the exact same chocolate has a value of 1 euro 83 cents so it is actually way cheaper in the us that year and i've heard that a few months ago the prices for cacao increased a lot which made the prices for chocolate increase a lot here in europe i'm not sure if this doesn't count for the us or if it's just not as bad but somehow chocolate in the us is way cheaper than here next thing we are comparing are bananas and these here in spain are actually coming from colombia while the ones in the us are coming from Costa Rica and here in Spain one kilo of banana has a value of 1 euro 45 cents while in the US one kilo would only cost you 1 euro and 6 cents meaning bananas in the US are also less expensive. Let's now talk about eggs. We have 12 large eggs here and these ones here in Spain cost 2 euros 90 cents while in the US also large eggs would cost 2 euro 45 meaning one point for Europe eggs are less expensive here in Europe. All right, that's basically everything that I always have at home to be prepared for a delicious breakfast. Let's now continue with a few things 
that I always have at home for a good and basic lunch. Also, in case you like this video so far, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because you're going to support my work a lot and maybe also my future trip to the US. This is long rice and in Europe it comes in a package of one kilo while in the US it is more or less 900 grams so a little bit less but anyway the price here for this rice is one euro and 29 cents while in the US you would pay for 900 grams one euro 55 cents meaning in the US it is more expensive and you would even get a little bit less let's now continue with something that most people love which is spaghetti this here is a package of one kilo and it has a value here in spain of one euro and 24 cents in the us 900 grams for a value of one euro 74 meaning it has less but it is more expensive another point for you the next thing i want to compare is chicken breast and this one here has a price per kilo of 6 euros 79 cents now if i compare the chicken breast in the us first of all in the us it is a much bigger package meaning that probably also has an impact on the price but in general one kilo of chicken breast in the us has a price of 4 euros 84 cents so it is way less expensive in the us than here in spain and i wonder why seriously that seems a really low price for chicken breast to be honest and in order to cook we all need some oil i guess and this here is half a liter of organic olive oil and this one here has a value of 7 euros 79 cents it is super expensive in europe since i don't know more or less a year or something like that that is simply because of the drought here in spain olives are mostly produced here in spain and due to a drought that is lasting since two years now the prices for olives got up extremely and therefore also the olive oil here is quite expensive and therefore it doesn't surprise me that olive oil in the US is actually less expensive than here in Spain. In the US the same amount for organic olive oil would be 6 euros and 2 cents. So almost 1 euro 80 less than here in Spain. One point for the US, clearly. And the next product is one of the most popular drinks on earth which is Coca-Cola. And here in Europe somehow we only have a package of four times two liter and that whole package has a price of nine euros 16 cents which in my opinion is quite expensive the price for one bottle would be two euros 29 cents which is a lot for two liters of coca-cola in my opinion in the us the same size of coca-cola has a price of one euro 82 cents meaning in the us it is less expensive than here in europe and that is clearly another point for the us and with that we definitely talked enough about food and drinks let's now talk about things that we all need at home and we'll start with something super important which is toilet paper and we've got 12 rolls here and these 12 rolls have a price of 4 euros and 49 cents now the same amount of toilet paper rolls in the us has a value of 6 euros 33 meaning it is clearly more expensive to clean your things in the us and we've now got some detergent here this is liquid detergent of three liters and this one here has a price of four euros 99 cents in the us the cheapest that has been found had a price of 11 euros 92 cents and it only had two and a half liters meaning less than this one here for a much higher price and that means it is clearly a point for euro now this was everything that I had on the list and so far it is 8 to 6 for euro meaning that euro most of the time had the cheaper prices but it is now time to finally calculate how much I would have paid if I would have bought all of these things that were on my list and it turns out that in the US I would have been paying 54 euros and 24 cents for all of this while here in Spain I would have been paying 47 euros and 73 cents so the difference is actually only more or less 6 euros that's way less than I had expected I'm curious about what you guys think let me know in the comment section below if you think this is surprisingly cheap in the US or if Europe is surprisingly expensive maybe 
in any case i feel like my trip to the us is closer than ever at least i won't have to be worrying about the food anymore although i still need to figure out how to pay for disney world and universal studios of course but well the food doesn't seem to be that much of a problem don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i will hopefully see you in my next adventures and hopefully one of them at some point is also going to be in the united states of america see you there